Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Willie Jim Sauce, and I am back with another episode of Random RuneScape Memories. So, before I actually start the video, I wanted to let you guys know a few things. Uh, the first thing you might be able to hear or tell, uh, my voice does sound a little bit weirder. It's because allergies are coming around this season. Um, I know for you Australians, you guys are just going into winter, so I assume that anybody who has allergies um, is kind of getting out of that now since it's going into more winter. Uh, but with the summer, for me, you know... Uh, freshly cut grass and you know the pollen on the flowers and stuff everything like that that starts to get to me So like right now my eyes are really itchy uh, my nose is running I've been sneezing all day just kind of a bad thing uh, the second thing is that in the video I'm actually using a bigger resolution uh, this isn't because I got the new computer like I'm able to run the bigger resolution there's nothing that there's no problem with that it's just that I've always preferred to play on a smaller screen um, so if you guys do enjoy this size screen, uh, let me know. I can keep it like this. Uh, I may alter it a little bit. You guys may know Sam. Um, you may know him as Scape Skill RS. Uh, I was probably going to ask him and have him give me the resolution for uh, his layout because I really do like that. Um, and he helped me out with this one before, you know, when RuneScape 3 first came out and everything. You know, we're, we're, we're cool like that, all right? Uh, and then the third thing is just really quickly I want to let you guys know. Uh, that I did get the job again uh, up at the school so during the summer I will be working there for about two months or so uh, between June and August you know I think it's like eight weeks or something I, I don't know what it is exactly uh, but I did get the job there so I guess kudos to me I don't know just thought I'd let you guys know because I know I brought it up before so now the random runescape memory so this is back uh, I'd say around mm, two or three years ago um, I want to say it wasn't last summer. Sorry, I don't know what that was. I think a bee just flew down my throat. Um, I want to say it was around two years ago during the summertime. Uh, I used to talk to uh, this kid. Well, I don't want to say kid because, you know, he's not a kid. Uh, his name is Postman Pat, uh, as well as my friend Tyler uh, and a few other people. And for some reason, our fascination uh, was basically just gambling our money away. Whether it be staking or a little game called... Uh, Hot and cold. Um, so, we, I, I don't know what it was. It was outside of Vera. I don't know what clan it was. I don't I don't know anything like that. I think it was uh, like a, pri not private, but like just like a random person started it and kind of got popular off of it. You know what I mean? Um, so, they started their hot and cold clan. Um, it was actually dicing at the time. It was hot and cold and dicing, whatever it was. Um, so I go to the guy and you know back then they had like those little special things where if you landed on a certain number for the dice like if you bet um, whatever the number was and it landed between that you would win or if you got like within like five numbers away or called it right on the money uh, you would win like say if you put in 20 mil you would get like a green Halloween mask or something like that. Uh, so that's what I did. All right. So I put in I believe it was 40 mil. And if I won, I would get 80, or if I landed on the certain number, I would get a red Halloween mask. Now, I go through, put in my 40 mil, the guy rolls the dice, bam, number lands on it, that red Halloween mask is mine. Trade the guy, I'm freaking out, me and my friend Tyler are in the call, um, I probably already told Postman Pat at this point, and I, you know, I'm freaking out, I'm like, oh my god, yes, I'm finally gonna have like a lot of money on this game, you know, things are gonna be looking good, I mean, 40 mil is still a lot for, you know, a lot of people, but... Um, you know, to have more than that would be sweet. So, trade him, and he gives me 80 mil. So I accepted him, like, alright, so he, he gave me double the money, which is, which is cool, but that's not, you know, that's not everything. You know, I'm supposed to get that red Halloween mask. So I'm asking him, he's like, uh, well, sorry, uh, I'm not the owner of this account, it's actually my friends. And I'm like, uh, alright, well, whether or not it's your friends or your grandmothers, I want my red Halloween mask. Like, what are you trying to tell me? He's like, uh, I don't know if I'm prepared to give you the Halloween mask. I wasn't expecting anybody to win. Well, first of all, don't advertise it that, you know, you're going to give that away if somebody lands on the number because somebody eventually is bound to land on that number and you're going to have to give them that Halloween mask. So, you know, I'm asking this guy, I'm like, well, when's your friend going to be back? Oh, you know, he's on, uh, he's on vacation right now. He'll be back in about, you know, five to seven days. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'll wait, keep me at it, I'll, I'll check up on the French chat every day until he comes back. Alright, so a week goes by, the guy, uh, the, the real account owner doesn't come back. Oh yeah, on his way back from his vacation, he got into a bad car accident, so he's going to be in the hospital for about a week or two, but when he comes back, I'm sure he'll give you the Halloween mask. Listen buddy, you think I'm stupid? Like, I obviously know I'm not going to get this thing, so 
I, it just it just shows that you can't I don't know. I don't want to say you can't trust anybody because you can trust a lot of people. You know, my friend Dan, you know, I met him, you know, over the computer with, you know, my friend Globber3000 or Zach. You know, I didn't really know them and I trusted them. You know, I added them on Skype. You know, I've, I've trusted them. You know, I've given them gold and stuff before, whatever it might be. But with with me and them, like, it's it's more for the friendship, you know what I mean? Like, I could give 50 mil to Dan and expect to have him give it back to me, you know, the next minute. I would think nothing of it, you know? It's not like that, you know? We have a good friendship. So, I, you could trust some people, most people, I guess not, and that just shows that you couldn't trust that guy. I never got the mask either. So, uh, that's about it for me. If you guys did enjoy me, like down below. And, uh, yeah, watch the stream later. Peace out.